Hey y'all, it's Matt, Sebastian, James, and Roy, ESC United, your representative for the ESC United panel of the 22 edition. The four of us will talk about all of the songs that are in the running and then share our thoughts and then our scores. But it's not just the four of us. We have a whole team United behind us. They all got to vote with just like every year we do that. And then we'll share that score with you at the end of the video. But for now, let's talk about the next song and country on our list and it is Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan really made us wait this year. They didn't even release the song until like way past the deadline. They clearly submitted it to the EBU, but they didn't tell us anything. But eventually the waiting was over and Nadia Rustamli, we knew that, uh, is performing the song Fade to Black. And we now have to determine, first of all, was it worth the wait? Was it a letdown? Is this a contender? Where is it falling? Well, let's talk about this. Sebastian, go ahead. What are your thoughts? Welcome back, Azerbaijan, for doing good original music. Last two years are not very good on it, but still, it makes some good results, so well done. But I'm much more appreciative about this kind of song which we get this year. I believe it's a true power ballad with lots of interesting elements, which make this lyrically and also melodically stand out. Of course, I can fully understand with a lot, a lot of ballads this year, uh, Azerbaijan just a little bit faded out. Lots of people are sleeping on it. Also, the fact that the song came as a last, not helping it, uh, in this case, on the system which we get it. But hey, hopefully he's doing it live very well hopefully it's gonna also receive some kind of staging dark light very minimalistic which i saw with maybe some led effects on it and maybe it will make some people scream and shout that hey 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 it makes total sense it's full good good package so that's my hope for this song and i really enjoy it really enjoy it all right james all right. I find it interesting that an artist likens himself to uh, Julius Caesar and he's going to a contest in Italy. Who's going to be the Brutus to put the knife in the back of his of Azerbaijan's chances here? Um, I don't know. Um, the staging will be key here. Um, from the studio cut, I'm not too impressed. There's a lot of interesting elements, but they seem like they're checked off of a clipboard for a song for a voice winner. Um, it, it doesn't strike me as a particularly interesting or dynamic song. Yeah, he's a great singer. So what? There's dozens of them this year. Um, so yeah, Azerbaijan will have to pull up some trees, um, to create some brooding, memorable staging. Um, but otherwise my, my opinion of this is it's just fine. When I was watching the video, I was actually wondering, what part of Azerbaijan is this? Is this like the mountainous northwest where it gets gloomy and dark like that? Um, and when I'm wondering things like that, the song get, kind of... Yeah, is... you kind of forget about the song, huh? Yeah. It was very interesting you pointed out this whole the voice winning song, the ballad thing, because um, here's the thing. Uh, timeline for you. So I listened to twice, then I gave my score here, right? Because it was the last one out then. Uh, I sat down earlier this morning to gather my thoughts for this video, and I was like, I virtually don't remember anything from the song. I'm like, I completely forgot it. And that is so odd. So I listened to it again to refresh my memory, and then I sat down to listen to it, and a few minutes later, I'm like, wait, what? Wait, what? My brain was already, it's, it's, and I'm not I'm like being silly. I mean, I am a little bit, but it really, my, the problem is with this song, I cannot retain the melody, the song, or anything. And so, and I listened to it again just before we went live like two times. So I remember bits and pieces, but I think that is the biggest problem because it is so uneventful. And the thing I remember the most is his voice, which is interesting to me. I find his voice interesting. The song is not bad at all. It's just, it's just this, what is it? Why do you have that? Is it just a very by the numbers ballad that just doesn't give me much and that is probably the biggest issue i have with it and i know i'm not trying to sound be dramatic here but i'm just serious i don't rec when the song the biggest issue it just doesn't have a whole lot of standing a sticking power to my brain and that is uh, concerning to me overall it's a fine song i guess it's just just not memorable and that's my biggest problem with it uh roy 
Yeah, um, I mean, I think he won like the voice this year um, in Azerbaijan, um, and um, that I've it. seen some some performances of him there, and his voice was I was like, wow, they really have a, a winner potential singer here. His voice is insanely good, and I was a bit let down with this song then because it is very like run of the mill, like. Every artist could have really, not maybe every, but a lot of artists could have sang this song. It doesn't really feel authentic to him. It doesn't really feel like, oh yeah, that is why I should vote for Azerbaijan. That is why this sticks out. It's just a ballad. And that is fine. It's just that there was so much more potential left in the tank for me. And that is a bit unfortunate. I do think that this still has a quite decent shot at going through to the final. Um, he's a great singer, like I said. Uh, Azerbaijan usually is really good at staging and has a really good track record as well. Um, so I don't necessarily have many doubts there. I just wish it was a better song. Yep, there you have it. Those are our thoughts. Uh, I think somewhat lukewarm too, somewhat positive, I guess. But let's talk this through and then take a look at the points. Because that's all that matters. Sebastian, what did you give it? Hopefully staging gonna be a bonus, which give a little bit more of momentum for this song. And I really wish that Azel get it in 2018, something like this. Maybe this is gonna be much more clear way for the Fade to Black. But still for me, it's 7.5. 7.5 from Sebastian. So James, what's your score? All right, so if we are talking singer, nine and a half, ten. But this is uh, not Eurovision singer contest. This is Eurovision song contest. So as a song, it's not very compelling. So that's why I give it a 6.5. 6.5. So yes, um, Roy made a good point that um, I th because I noticed immediately that, okay, he's an interesting, good singer. And I don't think he was able to really showcase that in the song. Uh, the song to me is as average as it comes. So I give it, would have given it five, but I gave an extra little nudge because he has a nice voice. So I'll give it a 5.5. So that's my score. Roy. Um, yeah, he's a great singer. I think it will do okay in the competition. It doesn't necessarily light my fire, which is ironic because that's Robert John and the fire. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, <clears throat> I gave it a seven. <laughs> seven. All right. So these are our scores. Let's see if the rest of the team kind of agrees with us or um, maybe not. So we combine all the results, not just the four of us as a reminder, but everyone on the team and came up with a team score of 6.04. So it squeezed past the six bunch of me. Yeah, that's what I kind of anticipated it to be. Uh, Sebastian, you are nodding. Kind of what you were thinking. Yeah, no surprises at all. I believe that everything depends on what we're gonna see on the stage. That's it's, it. It won't be worse, but it can be better. So this is the case. This yeah, better. So I think the team here representing everybody uh, kind of is also representative of the overall feeling of Team United. And you want to see where Azerbaijan. Uh, see. I should know by now how to pronounce Azerbaijan. Uh, where Azerbaijan falls in our ranking, check out um, the the ranking at the end of the video. And how do you feel about the song? Do you see where we're coming from or do you think we're off? Whatever it is, let us know in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. All right, I'll see you all later.